Hello and welcome back to another episode of Banishers, the Ghost of New Eden. My name is Alkan. Today we'll continue the playthrough on the hardest difficulty blind playthrough that is. Time to continue with the main storyline. Uh, you will be pleased to hear that I finally got an upgrade uh, going thanks to spending some cash with the merchants. If you look at our equipment now, it looks much better because I could mu do multiple upgrades. Weapon finally and max level. Uh, I want to do rifle soon as well. Bane ring is on its way to max level also, so uh, plenty Mines. of options. The mountains really. must be rich in ore. Uh, looks a bit rickety. And right at the correct timing, we... It's built for a team. One man alone should be fine. Should be. Another skill point. Budge. A tangle of rope work blocks it up. All right, well, that indeed is a job for a team. So let's do exactly that. Teamwork makes for dream work. that shall we not a pleasant way to die well a pleasant way to die is it Good. We're getting closer and closer. Holy. There is a lot of jumping points up here. Almost there. And there is an interesting net of all of these jumping angles. That's not right. We went through here and through here somehow went down instead of up. That's never a good sign. Go back up. Fantastic. How do we get up there? Another jump? Certainly not by jumping down there. All right, that is one jump down, but that's where we came from. Hmm. 
Maybe we don't need to get up, maybe already gotten all of no, I did not. The lift should be freed now. Very good. That's why they offered us to go down. Solved another little riddle. And finally off we go. Lift is good to use again. These beams look fragile. Well they hold. Would you rather climb? If it were up to me, I wouldn't be here to begin with. It's an interesting construction for a lift and I would beg to disagree that six little bits of barrels, even if they are filled with stone, are enough to carry this lift, or whatever. Got another ring, not that I think we're going to use it, but Savage River Punch, attack increased by 50%. Yeah, yeah. Listen, I've made my choices. I'm okay with our equipment so far. I just want to upgrade it and we'll go. Have we climbed higher or has the weather gotten colder? The nightmare is at work. She's likely using the weather in New Eden to further isolate its people. Then once the curse is lifted, the snow will disappear. I think so. Copper is one of the materials that we could use. Which is good. Um, and we were told... Uh, or the resource uh, sheet has indicated that the mountain here holds many of the resources that can we I join in too? so far. Striped wintergreen as well as the copper are definitely resources that we can use. Let's double check our map and see where we need to go. Good. Where is Yes. Nearby. That thing coming from According to our map, the treasure can't be far. I love treasures, but first of all, let's get rid of the fog. Good, we're finding fur, which, by the way, is also very much needed. That's the third resource, so... This must be where the treasure is hidden. We'll get all of the resources. And there is a treasure even. Perfect. Well, more riddles. Isn't that cute?
Pretty sure there's something up here. Nope. Just a dead end. Fantastic. Yeah, well done of the game to basically hide the resources that we need for so long. That, on the other hand, is a very uh, nice event because with the spirit on the loose unnecessary hit with that spirit on the loose, that's a scorch accretion for us. Standing in its uh, puddle, and I couldn't attack it. Where do you think you're going? Can I join in too? Cool. Essence Licker. What does Essence Licker do? Not that we are actually changing it at the moment. Hitting an enemy. Uh, restores spirit points. Yeah. I hate those things. Wasn't your first. Won't be your last. Aye. Thank you. These body parts scream manifest my spectre. Good, I'll do that off camera real quick. All right, got ourselves uh, through that. And by the way, the ethereal bone uh, fragments also drop here. Like all of the resources that we did not have, uh, this here seems to have an answer to the problems. What is lurking here? Time to work, Banisher. Okay, this is it. This is where we should be. At least I think so. I like that he has a couple of cool snowflakes uh, hanging all over his body. Take the lift, okay. Well, the lift it is then. Oh, okay. Wow, yeah, that is Not cool. a bad fellow to have around, you know. And your doubts, did you? Don't get cocky. There's always more to learn. Key thing about a scourge? A scourge builds itself a body. Right. A scourge will always build a new physical body. Very good. Top marks. Want another? On the nature of a ghost, perhaps? Ghosts of unfinished business. And apparently that includes asking questions. 
You have confidence, I'll give you that. Now the tie is supposed to write on, son. Cool. Very cool indeed. Got the Explorer and a couple of points of interest as well, which, as you know me by now, Where are you? Oh, there. Oh. you hear that? over here. There is another ghost, but listen, we had enough ghost stories for now. Main storyline is what we want to do. Maybe, maybe a couple, just a couple of um, little um, places of interest here and there. See, we're getting rewarded with a shrine, but not before we free that shrine. From the ghosts, then on it. Standing by. Good, more spirit energy. Found a couple of the shrines. So we could go over there, but only if there is a jump point. Or, of course, something to squeeze through. Got the second explorer. If we find one more, we got a new item. This is, by the way, where the item will be later used. You'll get it next time. Almost got it. Get back up! Oh no, these guys. <clears throat> he shakes toughened up. Back down to hell. Yeah, we're not yet having all three of uh, the malice has been bound to this figures, the explorer figures, two out of three, right? Okay, where do we need to go? And there is another point of interest here. But where do we really need to go? Whoa, all the way up there. Okay, that's going to be a long journey. Well, buckle up, buttercup. You're in for a ride. That's for sure. This doesn't necessarily need to be a void breach here. Might as well be something else, but nope, it's a void breach. Well, 
And I would love to have a camp nearby. Because then we can travel back. Red, I can't manifest anymore. Okay, that's climbing. I was trying to check if this is just a jump down that we can't get back up. The answer is it is not. But I would love to have my ghost here. Which we do not have, so for once Reed need to do this on his own. Yeah, basta. Luckily, Reed is plenty strong himself, so let's explore what's in here, shall we? There's the third. I am yes, warded. The third, I cannot. Um, explorer puppet. Much better. Like falling off a log after being startled by a wisp in Akashus. Never gonna let me live that one down, are you? Good. Let me get the haunted item and then we're just jumping and I'll come back because that's quite a bit. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe it's not. Maybe. Maybe there is a camp up here. question is, is uh, there anything nearby? Underground camp up here. That's a ledge that we cannot jump back onto. Hmm. Alright, I'll get the item, I'll activate uh, the camp and I will do the time, uh, the void breach, not time breach. And I'll be back in a sec. Alright, we're back. I did exactly what I said I would do, which was um, going through that uh, void breach. Worked like a charm. Uh, got an item from the cursed chest not really good uh, we're getting plenty of items but like I said I think at this point we have pretty much decided what type of items we're going to wear there might be side grades here and there but I'm actually quite happy with uh, what I do have in a different playthrough I would potentially try out uh, whether or not more damage whether or not more damage as an, uh, as an itemization makes sense I have no idea whether it does I'm right here you know like the first strike set and skilling accordingly would definitely be yeah interesting but it is not so interesting that I would now waste resources in upgrading uh, all of the sets. I've taken my preference and that's fine. Um, I have seen in the Void Rift they had an interesting map modifier in the Void Rift, which essentially was um, if the spirit of Anthea is slow, 
then you are going to deal more damage. And I wasn't aware just how much damage you could deal uh, A peaceful there. place. In different times. Before the nightmare's influence, you mean? Let's reach the fort and a fire and warm you up. These remains call for a ritual and a lot of caution. So, I was basically running around with very, very low... Uh, mm, spirit the entire time in two shot the enemy so that might be an option but um, if i was to uh, to do that uh, here using your edge if i was to do it here spirit it would flesh, very likely uh, not be uh, feasible because i have uh, seen just for how many de uh, points of damage uh, the enemy is sometimes hitting us And all of our itemization is more or less defensively. Or the majority of our itemization, should I say, is defensively. And it makes sense. I mean, a lot of it also I have another insight. falls down to proper cooldown uh, management. Oh boy. We're getting pounded whilst I am... Hawking. It's about to shoot. Good. Should focus on getting this guy. Don't just stand there. Move. And you couldn't always make the argument, you know, what Saiken, you could just avoid all of uh, the damage. But yeah, there will be the odd time when that is not possible. And then you do have a problem. Careful! Oh, come on. Playing like a rubbish in this encounter. I'm right here, you know. Good. Still defeated it. Good enough. This here uh, could serve as an elite uh, farming camp. It's an endless elite. And I think we need elite gems for upgrades. So, Scorch Accretion here. Scorch Accretion here, but here we need elite gems. And afterwards, nest silk. So, let me do another one real quick. Okay, another list of elites are uh, done. We got enough for the weapon upgrade finally. In the meantime, there are further secrets to be found on this path. Interesting to see just how much uh, resources and stuff that we were desperately needing can be found here in the wilderness, in that last region. I have to wonder why would you make a level three upgrade dependent oh, concealed. Uh, dependent on an area where you are getting so late in the game doesn't really make sense to me all right this point of interest is up there I think the only way to reach it is via this climb here.
Yep, I'm on the right track. I love doing that. And there we go. We're rewarded with what I personally think is the coolest reward. The shrines. Giving you that extra vitality. So that I can play a little bit more reckless. Alright, uh, back to our original case, which is still trying to get to Fort Jericho. I'm trying hard, guys, but what can I do when the game gives me points of interest left and right? I could, of course, ignore them, I hear you say. But the explorer in me comes through. That's a part that I like. There are definitely a lot of quote unquote secrets or interesting places here. The repetitiveness, not so much. For instance, these unlimited uh, shrines. Okay, I get it. You want to motivate people to sing 500 hours in their um, game state. Good. We could try to get there, but that's not working yet. Which really means all we can do is go via here and then take the long route. Got you. Taking the hint. Here lie the bodies of Ethel and Benjamin Bly. Nice gravestone. Must have been wealthy. Yeah, we're not going to uh, dig them up just to create another haunting case. Nope. It's not our business. We are in the business of getting to New Eden. And we've been dangling through the woods for far too long. I want payback time against that nightmare. Trouble ahead. There's four spectres are attacking the fort. Ooh, okay, cool. no ground. Well, before we're helping the fortress, take them down. Let's take the navigator doll. Hold fire! That fellow's not dead. I said, hold your fire. Good, you need to go. Back down to hell. You're in its sights, Red. Cool. Hold there. None in, none out. Not living nor dead. Name's Red McCraith. I'm obviously a banisher. Open the door there. I've business within. Your business is, if you'll excuse my articulating the evident, not my business. I have my orders. You can't come in. I hear you, friend. What's your name? The name's Andrew White. You seem a pleasant fellow. I like a Scot me, but standing here, I'm on duty. And when I'm on duty, I'm not your friend. 
Uh, listen, mate. Folk in here have problems enough, and I can't be disobeying orders. Either priests or Pennington would have my guts, and I fancy neither. Bennington knows me. He'll know I can help. I'm sure he does. But put one dead man down, and three come back next day. Round here, sweet victory fast turns bitter. Bottom line is, the captain is indisposed, and I'll not add your complications to the pile. Now, you want to lend a hand? Mrs. Priest and her party are overdue. You can't miss the outpost, it looks out across the valley. If you could find her, and make sure she doesn't die, you'd surely gain her favor. And favor, as they say, opens doors. Get in a fight and find your boss and dig her out of whatever hole she's in. All right. I can do that. They have spectre troubles. Let's first clear the nearby nest to relieve the fort, then deal with the missing. Right. I'll likely be back. Very good. Find our friends, Banisher. Or put them to rest. I'll try. As soon as I take care of the Spectre's nest, I'll go looking for the outpost. Good. That's what we're going to do yeah, the next no time. It's pointless. No wonder they won't open. They don't have a choice. Another attack may overrun them. The nest might be near. That's what we're going to do the next time. Thank you, thanks There's a lot a for watching, guys. Snow. I'll clear the nest and then we're looking for the party. Um, as always, if you want to do me a fall, uh, solid, uh, try to make your way through all of that fog and uh, snow. And um, click the like button. Thanks, have a good one and bye-bye.